I'm gonna show you guys how to make a giant snake hide today. of the morning, friends and family. How are we doing today? Ah, it's a great day here. Look, we got t-shirts. T-shirts going out, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. We got a ton of t-shirts going out. Thanks, thanks, because you guys are awesome. That's why these t-shirts are going out there. And some of these things are going all the way to Ireland. Triple B is going worldwide. Yeah, it's awesome. Thanks, guys. I always say top of the morning. You guys know why I always say top of the morning? Well, I started saying it one time and it just kind of stuck. But did you know that I'm actually 2% Irish? Did you know that? Yeah, I am. Look, you can see it in my beard sometimes. The light hits it just right. I actually am 2% Irish. I did the whole genetic testing and everything. I'm very proud of that 2%. I like Irish people. We're getting into all kinds of stuff today. It's a beautiful day outside. It's not raining anymore. So what are we gonna do with ourselves? Well, we've got a couple snakes that have shed out, so I think we'll take a look at some of that stuff. We've got, uh, maybe we'll bring Halo outside, let her play on the deck a little bit. Hmm, what else is going on? I gotta film some product video, then we'll get a little clip into that. First, we gotta get these t-shirts off to their destinations. You guys ready for this? Some days it's packed down here, sometimes it's just not that many people. This looks like it's gonna be one of those packed days. It's all right, I'll stand in line. Where you been? I've been, well, hiding. Are you really going to have this one t-shirt? Well, I mean, I, I was only outside from the truck to the... Okay. And I've been running around like a madman too, yeah, so... No, but... Uh, Molly's impressed. I'm sure if I sit still out there for five minutes, then I'll, then I'll start to want a sweatshirt. Yeah, yeah, then I'm going to feel it. No, I know I don't. So I would come back and keep getting signs of frostbite on my hands and my feet. And it's interesting because I've always been that way, whereas my sister on the other hand would go out in shorts and sandals and I'm dressed up like that. So that's why I'm out tomorrow or it's going to be two days. I'll show you. I'm a little warmer today. But it's not going to be like a week or something. Yeah, it's cool. But I'm a little warmer today. Thank you. I'll see you again. Let's see if I get more t-shirts. I love it. Yo, box to see if anybody loves me today. Y'all don't want to send me anything. It's all good. It's all good, you know? I'm just sending things out to you guys every other day, but nothing for Brian. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll get over it. Check this out. Roxanne, our beautiful Burmese python, just had a perfect shed and a perfect poo. <laughs> Look, let me check this out. Cool it down. Is that not one of the most beautiful poops you've ever seen in your entire life? Dude, the thing's amazing. That thing's amazing. The snake's amazing. The poop's amazing. The shed's amazing. Everything about it. Noah's gonna love this. We gotta get him down here. Noah almost didn't want to come down here because he didn't think the poop was cool enough, That's but not it's not true. Whoa. Can you zoom in? Yeah, you can just get closer with the camera. No, I want you to zoom in. Look how big that poop is, Mommy. Look how big that poop is. I want to see the poop. Wow, that's beautiful, sticky. Yeah. That's what that. And then you zoom, and then zoom out, now, all the way until this goes back to zero. Yeah, one point zero. So now turn around and talk about the poop. Now I tell the people what you think about the poop. See snake. Yeah. I want to see. 
Well, I didn't make that noise. Because she's not happy with you. So did you know that the snake is poop? Bigger than an elephant toe. Bigger than an elephant toe. Well, did you know that a blue whale is the biggest animal that's bigger than a T-Rex? Did you know that all snakes smell with their tongue? Did you know that a king cobra was venomous? I'm all done. Say hi, Eli. Hi. What do you think big, about snake big, poop? Big pee. Big pee. You like big pee? Yeah. What about snake poop? Because in there. What's your favorite animal? Um, cup ants. What do you know? That I know. Say hi, Eli. How are we gonna get? That's I know. How are we gonna get the snake? Out of the poop. Out of the poop. Get the poop out of the snake cage. She's not looking too happy about coming out for the snake poop. Maybe I'll just try to clean the snake poop and leave her alone. I want to get her shed out too. Dang, that was almost one big, solid, complete shed. Looking pretty good. What's that? Coconut. I'm just filming that the coconut. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a giant snake hide today. So all you need is a cement mixing tub. You can get these things at Home Depot. Super inexpensive and maybe a pen and something to cut it with. I'm gonna cheat and use a Dremel tool, but you could probably use like a handsaw or a really heavy duty pair of scissors, whatever you can to cut it. Basically, you just take this thing, you cut a little hole where the snake can get in and you're good. Here, I'll show you. So to start, all you need to do is draw your little half circle on there. If you got pretty steady hands, you can draw a good half circle with your hands, that's good. Otherwise, you can just stick something that's circle template on there to draw your circle. Should I say if I'm Michael and Jerry, I don't wanna do this for dinner? Sure. You can see I've got my little half circle drawn on there, nothing too fancy. I'm gonna take the top circle instead. The first one I kind of messed up, but whatever. Always wear your safety glasses and your gloves when you're using power tools for safety. Unless you're cool like Cody and you just don't use gloves. Then just go back over it with a little bit of sandpaper or a sanding bit or whatever you happen to have available to get rid of any sharp edges and you're golden, bruh! And voila, you're golden, giant snake hide. I mean, sure, <laughs> it's not gonna match up for like HGTV or anything. It doesn't have matching window shutters, nothing like that. But I, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that 
your snake doesn't care if it has matching window shutters or not. See, and she kind of outgrew this hide, which is why I'm making that bigger one. This is the biggest hide that I've found that's made in a store. But as you can see, it's basically the same thing, right? I guess I put my hole on the other side, but what's the difference, right? Bam, there, now there's one she could fit in. And some people don't offer their big snakes hides. I'm not one of those people. See, in there she can crawl in and she can also get on top and get really extra close to the uh, heat panel if she really wants to. So it's a win-win, man. She can hide, she can get on top of it, get warmer. Then on this side, she can get in her water bowl or she can get up on her little perch. It's, it's how I like it. And I just thought I'd share a little tip with you guys. So, so hopefully you find that useful. Another big poop. Oh my gosh. Just can't win around here. Halo did just shed out, so I guess I should have expected that. Halo, did you do that? Was that you? Was that some other snake that creeped in here and got your poopy thing all pooped up? Did you do that? Was that you? Don't lie to me now. Come on, tell the truth. Who did it? Was it you? Don't just sit there and look at me like you didn't do anything. You know you did that. probably love watching me clean snake poop on you're like Haha, look at that guy clean the snake poop I'm glad I'm not doing that <laughs> Bet some of you are wondering how I got that angle. Super clamp with a friction arm thing is absolutely phenomenal. Just got this thing. Pretty sweet. So we're set. 
I uh, I'm gonna shoot this little product video here. Wow, the lights, the lighting in this room has just completely changed. I got my little spinny deal. We're gonna see how it all turns out. In fact, why don't we put a snake on there real quick? Yeah, Cinnamon Sunset, she just shed out, guys. Cool. I think it was pretty cool. I don't think she liked it all that much, though. Nah. I don't know what happened, guys. It was all nice and sunny out, and then the rain started coming in with a vengeance. Oh, man. Crazy. But <laughs> that means I'm going to be pairing up some snakes for sure. Believe that. If you guys wouldn't mind going over and checking out the Freedom Breeder YouTube channel that I just created and looking at a couple of the videos there and let me know if you have any pointers about the product videos I put up. This is outside of my usual scope of video type stuff, so I'm just curious if you just if I get some feedback on it, I'd appreciate it a lot, man. You can get to the page right here. Well, I sure do have my work cut out for me cleaning up all of this mess. <laughs> well, it's time to get it done. Thanks for the encouragement, guys. I needed it to clean up that mess. Take a look at this, though. Want to see something amazing? So I wear a sweatshirt when I come down here, right? Or a jacket. And I always get warm, and I take it off and hang it on the back of this chair. Check this out. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, six. I can hear somebody now. That's not amazing. That's ridiculous. Take your jackets upstairs. And I will. I'll take my jackets upstairs as soon as I run out of jackets upstairs to bring downstairs. You get the big girl seat. Oh, all right. <laughs> ah. I went back to the post office and lo and behold, there actually was something for us in the P.O. box and whoa! <laughs> and it's addressed, it's from Lauren Kennedy. Thank you very much, Lauren. Appreciate it. And it's addressed to both of us, so I thought I'd let you open it. Okay, well, you've got the knife. No, you have the knife. Ooh, ooh, is this a new one? No, it's a very old one. Oh. Cause I'll, I don't know where the rest of my knives are. It's my last knife. I'm so much more efficient at this. You're supposed to cut towards yourself. Not with this big belly. Ooh, a note. A note? Should we read it on camera, Lauren? Well, no, I think people like notes to be a little more personal. What's up, Remington? Thank you, Lauren. That is so sweet. Oh my gosh. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Wow. That's really wonderful. Body oh, lotion. Sweet pea. Get the hint on that. Oh, you're gonna be stoked about this one. Where does Lauren live? Do we know where Lauren lives? Um, it's on the address. Where do you live, Lauren? Can we be friends? <laughs> be friends all over the world. Look, I know we can. Hillary but I'm really just wanted one of these things. The eye pillow. So I don't know how you knew she wanted one of these, but that awesome. she's wanted one of those. Ooh, lavender eye pillow. <laughs> Sure, that's for you. This is definitely for me. <laughs> How'd you know pink was my color? <laughs> you got some earrings. Oh, cute. You got some lip mask. Awesome. And a beauty box. Ooh, an egg cream mask. What does it say in there? Good vibes only. Oh, I just had a shirt on today that said good vibes. That's so oh, funny. It's the gift that keeps on giving. The good vibes have more good vibes inside the good vibes. <laughs> oh, those are amazing. You know, that's so cool because um, when we lived in Hawaii, Noah used to wear a little yarn anklet and then it came off one day and I was just looking at pictures thinking, oh, I should make them little bracelets again. These are so nice. Dang, there's a bunch of these things in oh here. Oh my god! Oh, look, this one is definitely... And Brian used to wear one of these since I met him. Oh yeah. Remember? He yeah. He had that black, white, and, and red it, one? I don't know. I lost it at China Walls, I think. Yeah, I think it just came off. Oh, these are so cool. These are... 
You could totally turn this into macrame. You've got the knots down. Aww. That one. Aww. Pretty little baby. That one is definitely sized for a little person. <laughs> this one would be cool for you. You think that could fit around my wrist? Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> she thinks I'm smaller than I am. But look what we got. Look these beautiful bracelets. So, ooh, that one would fit you. Aw, look at the turtle. Be very careful. I wonder what kind of stone that is. Wow. These are beautiful. That's really, really thoughtful. Or there's this one. And this one feels comfortable. That one feels comfortable? Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Lauren. That was really cool of you. Thank that you. That was so sweet. Man, it has been a busy day, guys, filming all these videos, putting all this stuff together, getting the snakes out, going through the rain, going through the sun. Oh, man, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. Sometimes I feel like I can't even keep up with it. It would be really awesome if I had, like, a helping hand. I've talked about this before, but, man, I, a helping hand would be huge. Even if I could, like, clone myself, that would be ideal. If it could be, like, two of me or even three of me, it could be, like, the full-on actual triple B in a... The hell was that? Yeah, anyway, if there was like, if there were more of me, if there were more of me, that would be, I'd be able to get, can you imagine how much stuff I'd get done if there were more of me? Would that be a good idea? <laughs> if there were <actually>, Dude. <laughs> you guys hear that? <laughs> All right, well, it's getting kind of weird. I think I gotta, I think I might be cracking up, guys. I gotta get out of here.